And we begin with North Korea this afternoon. Reports coming out of Washington suggest the regime has conducted another engine test for the KN-08, that's North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile. Now Pyongyang is also suspected to have upgraded one of its major rocket launching sites. Our Kim Young-gil has our top story. U.S.-based think tank 38 North says satellite imagery shows the missile's first stage engine was tested in mid-August at the Sohe launch site in North Korea's northwestern Dongchangni region. This adds to a series of engine tests Pyongyang has carried out since 2013. It remains unclear how successful these tests have been, though. Security expert Joel Witt, who runs a 38 North website at John Hopkins University, says North Korea could be moving on to full-scale tests of the KN-08 because these kind of engine tests are normally stepping stones to that end. The missile is believed to have a range of at least 5,500 kilometers, which means the U.S. state of Alaska is within its range. North Korea is not only testing engines either. It has also completed a major program to upgrade the Sohe satellite launching station that began late last year. A gantry tower was raised to 55 meters by adding three new platforms to handle up to 50 meter long rockets. The existing launch pad has been upgraded to launch rockets even larger than the Unha 3 North Korea sent into space in late 2012. With the completion of the engine test, 38 North says Pyongyang may decide to test fire another rocket before the year is out. A new, even larger rocket than the Unha 3 is also reportedly under development, but the website says it'll be several years before it's fully operational. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.